I feel like I've been doing better than a lot of other people because I've been doing the dynamic rate. So I'm just saying you might want to try it. I know eBay gets more money, but you're also going to get more sales. My name is Melissa, also known as the Thrifty Broad. I am a full-time reseller and I go to places like thrift stores, buy sell trade stores, and the Goodwill outlet to buy things to sell on Poshmark and eBay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's gonna be a what sold video from September 1st to September 7th. I'm gonna go through Poshmark and then I'm gonna go through eBay. eBay has a lot more sales. So the first thing that sold on Poshmark was on September 2nd, this Hufflepuff, wait, Harry Potter Hufflepuff black cloak. It sold for $40 with a shipping discount. And so I netted $29.02. I picked this up at the bins. Most items I pick up at the bins. So my cost of goods is about $2 each item. So keep that in mind, between two and $3, but it's usually closer to $2. The next item was on the 4th of September. This is a QVC Peace and Love Women's Gray. Um, it snapped uh, instead of button, but it had this big, huge button. And it was basically vanity. Anyway, um, it sold for, $14 with a ship, no, without a shipping discount. It was just straight off offer. And after fees, I made $11.05. Quick story time for this one. So this lady, I think this is the first time that I've had someone basically try to get me to give them a partial refund. So she's like, the button is basically falling off and I can't sew. I'm like, okay. I'm like thinking in my head, the button is a vanity button and it snaps so and it wasn't falling off when i photographed it or when i packaged it so i don't know i don't know maybe she pulled on it i have no idea anyway so i told her to open a case and she's like well i and many others have always been able to uh solve this without including poshmark and so i was thinking how would you not include poshmark unless you're doing it through PayPal or whatever. So I don't know what she was trying to get at. I think she was trying to give to get me to give her a partial refund. And you know what? That's not happening. So, and she wanted me to give her a refund of basically $10. She's like, my seamstress is gonna charge me $10 to sew this button back on. Um, this is on September 4th, vintage Obermeyer sweater. It had lining on the inside of it. Um, and so it sold for 30, no, it didn't sell for 36. It sold for $45. And after Poshmark fee, I made 36. This is a damask uh, women's large wool and cotton blend um, cardigan. I've had this for a few years. It finally sold for $18. I would not pick up this brand again. And I just, I had a hard time and it was a size large. So I don't understand why it was had, had such a hard time moving. Anyway, it sold for $18. So I made $14 and four cents afterwards. Um, this is Talbot's women's size four. So a small size, navy, blue, Hampton um, fit. They sold, they were new with tags, but they sold for $48 with a shipping discount. So I made $35 and 42 cents. This sold pretty quickly. So I was very happy with this sale. And that was on the seventh. And last but not least on the seventh on Poshmark, I sold these Bally um, vintage women's brown suede boots. They weren't a good style. Some of the Bally boots can fetch a couple hundred dollars even used, but you have to find one that's a current style and this just wasn't it. I tried for a hundred, I did have it listed for a hundred and someone offered me 50 and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna take it because I paid $2 for these. So I sold them for 50 and after Poshmark fees, I made 40. Going on over to eBay, I, so the first thing that sold was on September 1st and I sold these ANA, A New Approach uh, jeans. They were a boyfriend fit. They were size 14 and they were blue. They sold for $12 plus shipping. So after everything, I made $9.12. On the second, I made, I made, I sold this Knox Rose Women's Extra Large Boho um, dress. It sold for $10 and with shipping so after fees and all that i made six dollars and 61 cents i sold on the 
third, the Silver Jeans Company, the Avery Slim. They were $32.31. They were men's. And they sold for $14 plus uh, shipping. So after everything, I made $8.06. Now, some silver jeans can go for a bit. These was just not one of them. On the fourth, I sold this Era Postel Junior's Extra Large trucker jacket it sold for eight dollars and 37 cents plus shipping so after the fees i made five dollars and 93 cents uh this was an exciting sale so on the fourth i sold this aritzia babaton Co kobe kobe a uh, wool cashmere coat it sold for 89 dollars and 99 cents plus shipping and so after the fees and all that i made 77 dollars and 16 cents I paid two dollars because i got this at the bins and i do cost average everything at the bins it makes it a lot easier for the math i don't want to weigh everything when i get home so fender custom shirts by da vinci i sold this on the fourth for sixteen dollars and seventeen cents plus shipping and so after the fees and all that i made fourteen dollars and ninety six cents I keep in mind on eBay, I do do the dynamic rate. So if what I make seems a little low for you, that's probably why I don't do free shipping, but I have turned on free returns again. So, um, yeah, keep that in mind. If you don't do the dynamic rate, then you'll just make more, you know? Um, but if your listing gets seen, so I feel like I've been doing better than a lot of other people because I've been doing the dynamic rate. So I'm just saying you might want to try it. I know eBay gets more money, but you're also going to get more sales. I feel it's a win-win anyway. So, um, I know, and I've paid up to 17% before on things and you know, it is what it is. This is the world we live in. And I sell a lot of common items. And I think that's, you know, if I sold all rare and hard to find items, of course I wouldn't do that because it's rare and hard to find, but I don't have a lot of rare and hard to find items. So, you know, there's that. Anyway, Priscilla Cashmere, 100% ca Cashmere, you know, it's in the name. Also, just because it's in the name doesn't mean it's actually Cashmere because, you know, cupcakes and Cashmere, it's not made out of cupcakes or Cashmere. You know, I'm just saying. Anyway, so it's a soft, light green sweater and it was a cardigan. It was a button up. It sold for $30 plus shipping and it actually sold like within a few days. So I was really excited about that. I got this at the bins and it was only a size medium. Anyway, so I um, sold, I, oh my God, I lost my train of thought. So after the fees and all that, I made $26.79. Uh, this is on the 5th of September. I sold this vintage Harris Tweed for Michael Patrick. Um, it was um, single breasted, a two button blazer. And it sold for $40 plus shipping. And so after fees, I made $33.03. I sold this H&M Men's Navy Blue Polyester Double Breasted Peacoat. Now, it was funny. I had it up there. It was up there for like, I don't know, it was on sale. And it was up there for like $13. And someone offered me $10. And I'm like, you know what? I just delisted it and relisted it for $40, $39.99. So I'm like, you know, I feel like I could get more for this coat, even though it's H&M. The coats often hold a pretty good, an okay value, honestly. And so I relisted it for $39.99 plus shipping, and it sold within a couple days. So after fees and all that, I made $32.40. Very happy about that. Uh, so that one person that it was up there for like 13, it was 13 or $14. They should have just bought it you snooze you lose anyway i sold this oisel i don't know how to say this it comes from my state like i think it's from seattle anyway uh women's large pullover mock neck long sleeve top it sold for twenty dollars plus shipping and so i made sixteen dollars and 58 cents after everything was said and done they so I sold this logo by Lori Goldstein. This sells on QVC, which is a home shopping network on TV in America. If you're watching from another country, um, I don't know. It might be in other countries too. But anyway, so size 16 and it was a dark uh, released hem jacket. It sold for $20.79 plus shipping. And so after fees and all that, I made $12.95. Um, I sold this pottery, port portery. 
Pottery Barn. A uh, purple lavender velvet throw pillow cover it was a 20 by 20. Um, it sold for $13.20 plus shipping. And so after fees, I made $8.48. I sold this vintage Amanda Gray dress, a women's large. It was like a jumper, button front. I'm pretty sure it was like 90s. Anyway, so Y2K. I sold for $26.77 with shipping. And so I made $17.15. I sold this Tommy Bahama Tropical Flora, Flora, Floral, not Flora, Hibiscus Palm Short Sleeve Polo Shirt. It did not sell for a lot. So for $11 plus shipping. So after fees, I made $8.34. So not bad for um, selling it for 11 bucks. But yeah, I don't usually set to pick up polo shirts. So, you know, there's that as well. Some polo shirts can do well. This one was not one of them. I sold this Old Navy women's plus size, size 24 black high rise pixie pants. And it was weird because not this person, but a person like a couple days prior to this person buying them, they were like, are these more like leggings or are they more like pants? And I'm like, they're pants. They're pixie pants. They're not leggings. Because when I think of leggings, you know, I think of like Lycra and stuff like that, right? I think of like spandex type thing. Um, and they're not like that. They're not like clingy like that, but they are stretchy because they're stretchy. Anyway, so obviously I couldn't satisfy her and so she did not buy them. And um, so another person came along and just straight up bought them, no questions, and she liked them. Anyway, so I sold these for $18.48 plus shipping. And so after the fees, I made $10.50. And yeah, this is one of those ones where the ad fee kind of got me, but that's okay. Cause the ad fee was a little bit higher, but it's old Navy. It's super, super common. It's not like it's rare on eBay, right? So there is that. So I'm happy to make my $10 and 50 cents a profit. They're quick and easy. It was a quick and easy listing. So, and I'll say this, if you have your, your processes in line, then it won't matter if you're making a $10 profit. If you bought it for $2, that's actually a pretty good return because your processes were good. So you can sell volume at a lower profit margin and make pretty good money because if you have your processes ironed out, but if you don't, it's going to be a time suck for you. Anyway, I sold this ASOS men's um, 38R gray single button blazer. It sold for $24.99 plus shipping. So after shipping and all the fees, I made $20.90. Um, I sold this Tommy Bahama velvet marigold um, square 20 by 20 pillow cover. Um, I sold that for $12.14 plus shipping. And so I made $9.28 after everything. Um, I sold these Gap limited edition size four petite. I know people are like, I don't pick up petite. I don't pick up that small. I don't pick up petite, but here it is. I picked up a small, I picked up a petite and I sold for $25.99 plus shipping. So after fees and all that, I made $17.13. I am not crying and they were flare. So they were flare. I saw that they were flare. I'm like, you know what? They're limited edition and they're flare that's gonna sell and it did it sold within a few days just saying okay so barefoot dreams cozy chic light circle cardigan it sold for $21.12 plus shipping and so I made $11.58 I can't always win but <laughs> barefoot dreams I have a hard time selling sometimes sometimes it flies off the shelf and sometimes it just sits forever I don't know why Anyway, uh, we're on the 7th. We've been on the 7th for a while. Sorry. Uh, Brooks Brothers Cognac Brown Cap Toe Men's 10D Dress Shoes. These had like the rubber on the bottom was kind of peeling off. I did disclose that. Um, and so someone made me an offer of $40. And so I took it. It was $40 plus shipping. And so I made $32.48 after everything was said and done. I sold these Ariat. Ariat, Ariat. Groundbreaker work boots, they were Chelsea waterproof steel toe. And you can tell it's a steel toe because if you knock on the toe, it's super hard. Anyway, they were size 10 and a half. They sold for $39.60 plus shipping. And so after everything, I made $24.91. 
And they were actually pretty clean. I didn't have to do a lot to them. I just basically had to photograph them. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a great day night weekend and you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. All those things help me in the algorithm, help push my video out to let other people know that I'm making videos that people like. And uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. I would love to have you. Hi, welcome if you're new here. And yeah, that's it. So thank you so much for watching.